with our world famous feather razor to create some texture through the top of Walt's haircut. But let's take a look at the razor and understand a couple of the unique features and a couple of the ways that this really becomes the razor of choice. When we're done with a blade and it's time to dispose of a blade, the blade disposal case is a safe way to make the blades go away, protecting yourself, your clients, and even the people that empty the garbage. The razor drops down into the protective disposal case, thumb on top, and simply slide. The razor slides away, the blade drops down into the case. I can't touch them, you can't touch them, nobody else can. Now we're ready to pick up a new blade. So when we open up our blades, that's the standard 10 pack of the traditional cutting razor blade. Again, it features the unique no touch system. It's time to take a blade out of the blade display case, the, uh, the blade dispenser case, I simply slide the razor handle in and on and lift the blade away. No reason for me ever to handle the blades themselves directly and I've got a brand new blade and I'm ready to go. One little tip I like to share, we're going to be properly sanitizing the tools and in the case of hair cutting razor blades, sometimes it's nice to have a brand new blade that's really sharp. Other times, for some of our techniques, it's nice to have a blade that has a little less edge. I call it a blade that's got a little less bite to it. Occasionally, you'll find I will put a blade back in the tray, just like I do with the blade disposal case, and I'll keep my blades that have a little mileage on one side of the case, and I'll begin to take blades, and that gap tells me these are the unused blades, that's a blade that's got a little bit of mileage on it. As long as we're sanitizing the tools properly, it's not like a shaving blade that we would want to dispose of every client, I can go back and pick up that blade another time when a technique calls for a blade that's got a little less fight, a little less bite to it. So now it's time to do some texture. All right, Blade Glad Plus to hydrate the hair, especially for razor cutting. Fabulous slip and slide. Uh, moisturizes the hair, just really good stuff. Hair drinks it up. I love using it and the hair loves that I use it. We're going to go in through the top. I want to take a little bit of length out of the center so he's not too heavy. And my favorite razor technique over the top of the head is the technique where we take sections of hair, I grasp the hair between my thumb and the blade, and it's a three-step motion. It's pinch, twist, and pull. Pinch, twist and pull. You'll only see it as a single smooth fluid motion when I execute it, but that's to let you know what you're seeing and it looks like this. And it's a fabulous way to remove length yet keep things soft and heavily textured. Notice we're not getting a line like we'd get if I cut that with a pair of shears. We're taking some length away, but we're keeping things soft. If his hair were a lot longer and I wanted to go in and do some deep texturizing, the only variation, the only thing I would change on that is I would hang a little bit further south. I wouldn't slide my fingers as high up the hair shaft. I'd hang a little bit further south, then I would rotate so the razor was parallel to the hair shaft, and it's like point cutting deep with a pair of scissors, but I have really great control and it's really easy to create awesome texture. This takes my length away, that's a length cutting technique, what I call direct cutting. This becomes texture cutting, where I come in and point cut against it. Notice things don't get shorter, but they get more broken up. I'll do that through the top of the head just to break things up, wanting to keep the length so we get the overhang that we built into the sides of the haircut. Now it's time to go in and create a little more texture. I'm going to share a technique and then I'm going to punch it up to give you another version of it. I call this technique weaving. And if you're not familiar with the technique, the first time you execute it, I like to suggest you try this without a blade. I took the blade out. There's no blade in my razor right now. This is what the technique's going to look like. I'm going to grasp a section of hair. I'm going to turn the razor so the blade would be facing away from me. And I'm going to use the back edge or the spine of the razor like I would use a tail comb to weave a highlight. And I'll weave through there. Now, I can weave it fine, of course, or I can weave it chunky. I have a lot of creative control with a technique like this. But I'm going to come in, I'm going to grab that section, I'm going to weave, and I'm going to apply pressure with the back edge of the razor so I don't do any cutting. When I do that, it prevents me from cutting when I don't want to be cutting. Then I'm going to roll the razor up 
and I'm going to etch hair from the upper portion of the weave or alternatively I can roll the razor down and etch hair from the lower portion of the weave. Sometimes that will prevent us from creating layering if we etch from the under portion of the weave. I'll take away bulk but I won't create shorter hair on the top of the structure. So there's some creative application there. I'm going to put a blade back in and we're going to see what it looks like when we execute this technique. We're going to come in here. I would rehydrate if the hair dried down while I'm working. Again, Blade Glide Plus to keep the hair moist and pliable, evens out porosity when we cut, and maintaining even and consistent hydration throughout a haircut is very important because varying levels of hydration will create varying degrees of stretch in the hair because damp hair stretches more than dry hair. So even porosity and even hydration with precision haircutting becomes a real critical tool in helping you do better haircuts. That's where Blade Glide Plus really becomes an advantage in precision haircutting as a powerful, powerful tool. So we're going to add a little bit of that when we need to. Now we're going to come in, we're going to turn the blade up and away with the blade facing away. We're going to weave, let me grab that again, we're going to weave, we're going to weave it in, roll it up, and etch it through. And notice how easily that takes away some texture. Part that away, we move back through the haircut, and we'll do it again. We'll weave it through and again notice I took from the top portion of the weave. This third section, and we've got about two more left, this time I'm going to roll the razor the other way. I'm going to weave it through, I'm going to roll it under, and I'm going to take from the underside of the weave. Fabulous technique for the kind of effects we're looking for. Now one other way I want to punch this up the next notch is I want to switch. I've got, notice the red handle, things are different here. I've switched handles because I've switched blades. This is the feather styling razor texturizing blade and you'll notice the unique pattern on the guard. Unlike the traditional cutting razor which is guarded strictly for the purpose of protecting you, this razor is guarded in such a way that not only does it protect you and your client, nobody gets cut, but it also restricts the amount of hair that actually gets to the cutting edge of the blade. So it's almost like a notching or texturizing effect. That's exactly what it's like in the razor. So now we're going to combine the weaving technique with the notched nature of the guard to create a truly unique, and again, roll it away, weave with the back edge of the handle and roll it up. Some of that hair will get cut. Some of that hair has fallen onto the portions of the guard that are actually isolated from the blade, so it allows you to take a little less hair. And this might be a good time to mention if we're using a blade that's got a little bit of mileage on it, where the edge of the blade has been worn just a slight amount. You've got a blade that's got a little less aggressiveness to its cut. So now you have the combination of the weaving technique, the unique texture guard, and I don't want to call it a dull blade, but I want to say a blade that has a little less aggressiveness to the blade edge. Wow, the amount of texture you can create and your creative ability, there's no limits. Amazing things we can do with hair cutting with these contemporary tools. All right, the beauty industry loves to say it every time you watch a hair cutting technical. What do we say? We say repeat on the opposite side. So I'm coming into the other side here, and again, with my texture blade, I'm going to work in sections, moving back through the head, weaving out sections, and coming in with the razor just to create some texture and break up the top of Walt's hair. The goal was to leave that top a little bit longer, and let's just get a better weave there. The goal was to leave that top longer and break things up, and the texture blade on our feather razor makes it easy and perfect to do that.